the thing you really have to be worried about is getting stuck. This is one of our lunar test facilities. It's the one where we see how the vehicles perform in the sand and how the uh, control algorithms and the remote operation stations are, are working. These will give some telemetry about mm -hmm. each uh, motor, so any errors that they have, speed, current, voltage. Nighttime temperatures can go down to minus 200 Celsius, and then daytime temperatures can be quite warm. So withstanding that cycle is, is, uh, is quite difficult and an engineering challenge. The lunar regolith, the, the dirt on the moon, is also very abrasive, very sharp, very sticky, and gums up mechanisms, and so needs to be uh, taken care of in the designs as well. Because the temperatures are so cold, you have uh, volatiles that are frozen there, uh, potentially also water ice, which is one of the very interesting things on the moon. And that's really with a long-term view to human missions and human bases on the moon that will need water for, for life support systems and also as potential uh, fuel sources. I've always had a passion for space exploration and the moon is really the gateway to exploring beyond Earth. 